Are you concerned about chloramines in your family's water and would like to learn more? Well, we're going to talk about that right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, welcome. If you could click the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner of the screen, it'll take you right to my YouTube channel. Lots of information on there, hundreds of videos about water treatment. Also, I really encourage you to watch this video to the end. I'll have a link on there to my uh, chloramines playlist. Tons of information for you and your family. You definitely want to check that out. So what are chloramines? Basically, chloramines are chlorine and ammonia that's added together and it's used for processing uh, your water, disinfecting your water. Why have municip some municipalities have changed to it? Not all of them. Um, so why have they done that? Is because the chlorine residual lasts a lot longer. With chlorine, which is what municipalities have used for years for disinfecting water, um, it it, it can dissipate. It, when it's exposed to air, it dissipates. But with chloramines, it does not. So if you think it's, it's a concern about combining um, chlorine and ammonia for your family's water, you're right. They're, they're disinfectant and uh, this is a cleaner. In fact, if you read uh, what it says on the bottle, on the warning label on the bottle of the ammonia, it says dangerous fumes um, form when mixed with other products do not mix with bleach. Well, of course, the municipalities have a certain level that they have to uh, combine these two products with to make them safe, but there are a lot of concerns about it. I have a link down below to this, uh, this uh, chloramines fact sheet here, and this is from the citizens concerned about uh, chloramine. I'm not going to read this to you, but if you leaf through this, you'll see there's a lot of information in here. It talks about trihalomethanes and about how that can... Trihalomethanes are when chlorine combines with organics in the water and creates all kinds of other products, and uh, trihalomethanes are being linked to cancer. There's a lot of studies being done along those lines. You know, there's other issues here. Um, uh, chloramine cannot be removed from, uh, from water by boiling, distilling, or just leaving the water standing like you would with uh, chlorine. Um, for pets, for example, people that have chlorine in their water will leave the pet dish uh, water sitting out for a while, dissipates the chlorine, and then the pet can drink the water without having to ingest that chemical. Um, chl chloramines can cause and or aggravate res respiratory uh, problems. So again, folks that uh, are of higher risk, folks that have asthma, things like that, chloramines are especially a concern for them because it can cause all kinds of issues. Chloramine tap water can cause severe uh, skin reactions. So things like um, rashes, dry skin, uh, itching. Anyway, you can read the list. There's all kinds of stuff here. Skin exposure to ammonia. Um, breaks down cell structure proteins. So again, you can read this report, lots of information here, but uh, should you be concerned about uh, chloramines in your water? Definitely, That's the, it, is, it is a concern. So how do we get rid of chloramines? Well, unlike chlorine, which is relatively easy to remove from your water, you can put in a carbon filter or something like that, and that can uh, remove the uh, chlorine from the water. Chloramines are much more difficult to remove. For a whole house application, this Centaur Carbon uh, back, automatic backwashing filter is definitely the way to go for your family. It installs in the plumbing where the water comes into your home, removes the chloramines, and then goes on. It's an automatic backwashing filter, so there's nothing you have to worry about. It cleans itself every five days or so, and, uh, and has an extremely long lifespan for the Centaur Carbon uh, that's included in it. If you just want to get rid of the chlorine, chloramines from your uh, drinking water, you could go with a reverse osmosis system. So we have the Water Saver 75 with the chloramine filters uh, included. So it's a special model, so be careful. We have a Water Saver 75, and then we also have a Water Saver 75 with chloramine removal. That's the one you're going to want to be interested in. So, and uh, by the way, how do you know if you have chloramines in your water? The easiest way is to phone or contact your municipality and ask them, are they using chlorine? First, ask if they're using chloramines. If they're not sure what you're talking about, uh, ask them, do you use chlorine and ammonia in uh, disinfecting the water? And if they do, then you have chloramines. I also, I'll have a link, or um, yeah, a link in the description down below to a blog post of mine that has a list of typical cities in Canada and typical cities in the United States that are using chloramine. Uh, again, that can be changing at all the time, so that's why I definitely con suggest contacting your municipality to get more information. If you're interested in um, either the um, 
whole house centaur carbon filter for removing chloramines for your family or like i say the water saver 75 with chlorine chloramine removal just click the link up here take you right to our e-commerce store we offer discount pricing and free shipping and uh, you can order the products online there and that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, here's the link up here to the playlist that uh, has all of our chloramine videos. If you'd like some more information, you go to our websites, either thewatereaststore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy. Thanks for watching.